Lady Antebellum changes name to Lady A. We feel like we have been awakened country trio Lady Antebellum dropped Antebellum from its name Thursday, per a social media post from the Grammy award-winning group. The trio behind hits Need You Now and Bartender now identifies as Lady A, renouncing the term used particularly to describe existing before the American Civil War. In a statement posted to social media, the band featuring members Charles Kelly, Hilary Scott, and Dave Haywood said that when Lady A formed 14 years ago, the group didn't consider the pre-Civil War associations that weigh down this word, including ties to slavery. We are deeply sorry for the hurt this has caused and for anyone who has felt unsafe, unseen, or unvalued, the statement said. Causing pain was never our heart's intention, but it doesn't change the fact that indeed, it did just that. So today, we speak up and make a change. There's no excuse for the making this decision after nearly a decade and a half career, the post continued. The band acknowledged its lateness to change, writing that this is just one step in addressing systemic racism. The group said it would be donating to Equal Justice Initiative via Lydiad, a nonprofit organization launched by Lady A in 2012. We are committed to examining our individual and collective impact and making the necessary changes to practice anti racism, the statement said. We will continue to educate ourselves have hard conversations and search the parts of our hearts that need pruning to grow into better humans, better neighbors. The decision to drop antebellum comes as protesters nationwide continue to call for systemic changes toward racial equality. Demonstrations against racial inequality reignited in late May, following the death of George Floyd, a 46-year-old black man, in Minneapolis. Floyd died after Derek Chauvin, a white police officer, pressed a knee into his neck for more than eight minutes. Full statement from Ladia as a band, we have strived for our music to be a refuge, inclusive of all. We've watched and listened more than ever these last few weeks, and our hearts have been stirred with conviction, our eyes opened wide to the injustices, inequality, and biases black women and men have always faced and continue to face every day. Now, blind spots we didn't even know existed have been revealed. After much personal reflection, band discussion, prayer, and many honest conversations with some of our closest black friends and colleagues, we have decided to drop the word antebellum from our name and move forward as Lady A, the nickname our fans gave us almost from the start. When we set out together almost 14 years ago, we named our band after the southern antebellum-style home where we took our first photos. As musicians, it reminds us of all the music born in the South that influenced us. Southern rock, blues, R&B, gospel, and of course country. But we are regretful and embarrassed to say that we did not take into account the associations that weigh down this word referring to the period of history before the Civil War, which includes slavery. We are deeply sorry for the hurt this has caused and for anyone who has felt unsafe, unseen, or unvalued. Causing pain was never our heart's intention, but it doesn't change the fact that indeed, it did just that. So today, we speak up and make a change. We hope you will dig in and join us. We understand that many of you may ask the question why have you not made this change until now? The answer is that we can make no excuse for our lateness to this realization. What we can do is acknowledge it, turn from it and take action. We feel like we have been awakened, but this is just one step. There are countless more that need to be taken. We want to do better. We are committed to examining our individual and collective impact and making the necessary changes to practice anti-racism. We will continue to educate ourselves, have hard conversations and search the parts of our hearts that need pruning to grow into better humans, better neighbors. Our next outward step will be a donation to the Equal Justice Initiative through Lydiad. Our prayer is that if we lead by example, with humility, love, empathy, and action, we can be better allies to those suffering from spoken and unspoken injustices, while influencing our children and generations to come.